my dear friends, this is Grace and I'm sharing with you my third layout using my February Wings Kit. I know this is posted um, after February, but I just didn't have time to post them all um, in the month of um, February. Anyways, I'm starting with that glimmery black cardstock and um, I'm going to cut the inside of it um, about 8 inch square and then I'm going to use that for a different layout um, next time. And that's what I always do so that I can save my papers and um, that I can make sure that I am efficient with my stash. And then this bird um, paper is from Hambly and I'm cutting it about 11 and a half inch and then I'm going to put that over the black cardstock. And then this is a paper from, um, let me think, Doodlebug. And it's just a red paper. Um, one side has florals and then the other side has strips. And um, this is a picture of my niece. Um, this was taken in 2011 and um, she and um, her family went and visited us in the summer and I took pictures of um, her and her family. That's my niece from my oldest sister. And then this is a heart, a cut apart sheet from an Echo Park uh, Valentine's themed paper. And then this is just a gold um, paper from Die Cuts with a View. I really love that gold paper and um, it's so shimmery and um, it's, it's glittery basically without having all those um, messes of an actual glitter. And then I decided I wanted to use one of these um, glassine envelopes. I hope I'm saying it right. And um, my goal for this page is that to just scrapbook this and then I'm going to tuck a little handmade tag in that pocket and then so when I send this to my sister she can journal it about what she wants to write about her daughter. Um, and so here I am. I'm going to decide, I'm deciding that I wanted to use some of this gelato, gold gelato, and so I'm going to mix that up with um, some modeling paste. Um, there's my little guy there. He's sitting on my lap, so that's why his hand's right there. Um, but I'm mixing the gold shimmer or gold gelato with some modeling paste just to add some color to the modeling paste. And um, I, I didn't like how, I, I don't know, I guess I didn't put enough gold in there. And so I'm deciding that I'm just going to use this Heidi Swap dot um, template for a mask and then I'm going to add some modeling paste over the layout. And of course this is going to need to dry so um, I'm going to work with this and then set it aside, clean my um, stencil and then walk away and then come back. Um, I think I came back like the following day. So I'm just cleaning off my stencil with some baby wipes. And I really like that stencil and the size of it. It's not too big. Um, and so I'm definitely going to be using that next time. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. Oh, I know. Um, this is something that I found from watching Nicole Jones where she would um, put some ink, put some water and then just dab that on her page and so I did that here and it's kind of a fun um, trial for me so I'm definitely going to do that. I'm sorry what uh, and I don't understand why my um, video was a little bit misty over here. Um, I cleaned my phone, the, the camera on my phone so I'm not sure why it's all it's kind of blurry, but um, it is what it is. So I am adhering items now. Um, that little circle that you see that I put on top, that is from an SCI paper. I had cut out that. Um, it's a circle paper with different designs, and that was a little one that I cut out and um, that I didn't use in a previous layout, so I'm using it here. And then I'm deciding I wanted to dress up that um, envelope and so I'm trying to see if I wanted to stamp it or if I wanted to add um, um, a paper in with something on it. So I'm deciding that I'm going to be 
I don't think I'm going to use that stamp. I eventually use some other one. Oh, there it is. So I'm going to be stamping these leaves, which is one of my favorites. I'm so glad I pulled it out for this month. Um, and I don't know what I'm looking at. Or I'm looking for. Oh, I'm looking for my foam. Um, so I'm going to be stamping the the leaves with some um, Versamark black ink. And here I am kind of contemplating if I should have just masked the first one, that first um, leaf, so that it's not overlapping. But then I figured I'm going to be covering that with something, so I just stamped away. And then um, I'm going to be using this little stamp from, I think it's, hmm, Hampton Arts, maybe? I forgot. Anyways, this little cut apart sheet from the Echo Park uh, paper has um, this white with pink frame on there. And so I'm going to be heat embossing this stamp that says important with some gold embossing powder. And then I'm going to be heat embossing that and then after I'm going to cut that frame so I can just add that white and pink frame part onto my um, envelope. I have to say I've, I've really enjoyed working with gold this, um, this month and I know that gold is one of the kind of trends right now so I'm so glad I pulled that out and worked with it. I'm just going to fussy cut that frame and then you're going to see me that I'm not going to waste this paper later on because I'm going to be punching some butterflies with it. So I'm going to set that aside after. And there it is and I think I'm going to be inking the edges of that just so that the frame shape will pop out a little bit more. And I'm adhering it with some pop-up adhesive and there is my little tag or my little envelope for my tag. So with my tag I'm punching a hole in the center on the top and then I'm going to be threading some um, twine, American Crafts brown twine through it and then I'm also going to be um, rounding the corners, just the top, just so it will look very similar to an actual tag. And there it is. So that's how I dressed up that envelope and then I'm going to be adhering that on my page onto the left side. So I'm going to be inking the edges of this black, I mean of the circle, the, the one with the gold circle accents. I'll put that on the top and then I plan on adhering that picture somewhat centered but I wanted to add that gold first just so because I didn't want the gold trim to be showing off um, through the notch and so I wanted to make sure that I hear that first and then this little heart I initially thought that I was gonna leave that for um, journaling but then I decided I was going to just dress that up and then put her name on there and you're gonna see me do that later so here I am going through some stickers for lay um, for my title and then I have that sticker from Creative Memories that says smile I'm gonna use that I'm also gonna use this tag from Maya Road I believe no SEI and I'm gonna use the same um, twine that I used for the tag for the journaling tag tie that and then I'm going to adhere um, the word happy which is a sticker from um, a Heidi Swap Christmas line so the title will be happy smile so this was taken back in 2011 and I believe my niece was only 11 at that time 
and now she's 13. So time flies by when you're having fun. That's for sure. And um, she has grown up to be such a lovely girl. Um, and I'm just so glad that I could be her auntie. And um, here I am going through some of these items, stickers from SEI. It has pinks and reds and then the gold, the gold accent. And I added um, a border sticker that had kind of um, a ruler type of design. And then I'm going to be adding this one. I'm going to add that to the left side of my page. It has that big gold um, in the center. And so I thought it would be would be nice to add it and I forgot already what it says around that gold but I thought it was a good a nice accent to the layout and here I am making use of that paper that I had cut out the frame from and I'm going to be punching out butterflies from them and then adhering that in three different portions of my layout I just adhered one right now but then later on you'll see me add two more onto the bottom right side of my page. I always like to do um, items into threes because it's just kind of pleasing to the eye and so that's what I usually do. And it's, you know, the visual triangle also. It works well with that concept. And so the, um, the pearls that I'm adding are from Doodlebug and they're just red. And then here I'm deciding what else I'm going to be adding. Um, I, I decided to add, I'm going to mess around with this, try, trying to figure out what else can I add. But then I'm eventually going to add um, some tiny glittered letter stickers from Making Memories. And I'm going to spell out her, her name. I think that sticker from GCD Studio said, I love you. And so I'm going to add, I added that to the envelope as well. I mean, to the pocket. So this is a good way to um, make a page for someone and then just leave the journaling for, for either that person or somebody else. I usually do that pocket journaling for layouts that's not going to end up in my scrapbooks. Because these letters are skinny and tiny, I'm going to be using my um, my little uh, what's that tool? Um, my doodle bug. Um, oh, what is it called? <laughs> I forgot already. Craft knife. There you go. I'm going to be using um, the doodle bug craft knife. Just gra craft knife just so I can get it straightened out. Because I can't use my little, um, not my little, but my plastic ruler on this because it's so tiny. And that's where I'm going to stop because I had to go and text my sister how to spell her um, middle name because it's kind of a, a weird spelling. So here is the some details of the layout. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it and as always, Please hit thumbs up if you like this, uh, um, this video and also subscribe to get um, the latest videos from me. Thank you and I'll see you when I see you. Bye.